Hey, what's going on, guys? EC here, and today we've got some news. Days of Doom has had an interview. Uh, we now have the release date for Days of Doom and some little knowledge around the game. So let's have a little look, see at this, and I'll give my uh, thoughts. Link in the description to this article and the Days of Doom. First of all, beautiful. I, I love this art. This art to me is always just just beautiful. Jumps page. So we're gonna jump past this little bit at the front where it just says, so like, oh, so we have a sorry show of Days of Doom at PAX West when re release date announced. So let's have a look. Days of Doom retails for thirty dot thirty thirty dollars, thirty dollars for this game. I mean, if it's a good game, it'd be worth it. As an investor in Atari, I want that green. I want Atari to be making that green because obviously dev dev value goes up. I make money, but thirty dollars. The last one was pushing it at $25. Mr. Runner was $25. So I think that was pushing it a bit. Will this get me worth $30? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. So, the game will be available on Epic Games Store, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, 5, Steam, Xbox One, and Xbox Series consoles. Okay, so I don't know if they confirmed the VCS or not, because it's not mentioned in this article. So, about the game. The apocalypse wasn't the end of the world, just one, the one we knew. And Days of Doom, a post apocalyptic tactical RPG roguelike that challenges players to reach sanctuary, a place of promise, and a res respite in a world of colourful chaos. Starting with a small cast of survivors, you'll chart a path to reach the ultimate destination, encouraging threats including zombies, raiders, and even zombie raiders. Along the way, you will need to recruit a ragtag band of heroes to protect your growing community and fight your way forward. Okay. So it's literally just The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead as a tactical roguelike RPG. I am down for this. I am down for this. Atari, shut up and take even more of my money. You already have give. I already give given you potentially thousands of uh, dollar dues over the last year or two as I've been buying all your games on Steam, as well as buying a couple of your games on other platforms. But yeah, you know this. This is um. This is quite cool. Obviously, if you've got a nice little screenshot of the game down here, look at that beautiful artwork, beautiful graphics. Obviously, that is going to be. A killer app. This will be a killer game for Atari. I would. I expect this to have at least five se sequels as well. This will be Atari's big uh, answer to State of Decay 2, because apparently State of Decay is still a thing. They're making a third one supposedly, but I am yet to see more than a, a CGI trailer. So if we get uh, so much of gameplay this year for that, that'd be nice as well. But you know, but yeah, Days of Doom. This looks pretty all right. So let's have a keep look. Uh, so discovering how best to utilize each. Hero's unique abilities is the key to success in Days of Doom's turn-based combat. Attack with Pyro early in the battle as he ignites enemies for less lasting damage. Then combined with Hydromancer and the Thrasher is a one-two knockout punch. Oh, I love the, I love it in a fight when you know you have that one guy who's like one-two, boom, everyone's on the floor. Yeah, he's on the floor. He wrecked him, he got wrecked. Yeah, obviously. Professional, professional American. Can you tell I did boxing training in when I was like what 16, 17? Right. Let's continue. Uh, what's it? Then combine the Hydro Master and the Fresh. Oh yeah, Hydro Master can set the stage with a range of ranged warrior attack, and then the Fresh can deal with a shocking surprise to wet enemies. The odds against you may seem insurmountable, but if your hero's abilities strategic up uh, strategic uh, strate abilities are uh, strategic upgrade. Sorry, I can't speak today. I can't speak English. The one language I know how to speak properly. Uh, then and add new abilities along the way. You might just make it. Be sure. Okay, what else was uh, was there not also a date? Yeah, it is. Thirty dollars and we'll release September twenty first, twenty twenty three. Boom! September. We're getting this game. We're in September now. We're like three weeks away. I cannot wait to pick this game up. Add this to my f a growing Atari collection on Steam. Hopefully, it's compatible with the Steam Deck because obviously I'm sick of playing Atari games on the Steam Deck and them not working. Also, if Atari is listening, please sort out Bubble Ghost on Steam. It's very annoying that I can't load the goddamn game. Genuinely. I want to play that goddamn game, but I can't load the goddamn game, so you better fix this. Fix it right now. Right now, Atari. Right now. I I'm going to be coming to your office. I'm like, hey, I'm an investor. Where is my working game? Why can't I not work the game? But yeah, that's not relevant. That's just a little tyrant, a little rant. But yeah. Am I down for this? Of course I'm down for this. Days of Doom. This is going to be Atari's big game this year. People will say, but what about Haunted House? I'll make a video out of Haunted House's news. It's probably tomorrow. But for now, let's talk about Days of Doom. Days of Doom. Days of Doom are coming good for you. Days of Doom are coming for you. You better go hide in a loo. Or eat and eat all the animals in a zoo. There you go. Some of your thoughts about this. And sorry if I sound very manic in this episode. I'm probably having an episode right now. Anyway, guys. Subscribe, share, comment, turn on notifications. I've been EC and I'm signing out. Peace.